सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम रिजॉल्व टू एक्स प्लस थ्री बाय फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड एक्स प्लस टू इंटू टू एक्स प्लस वन इंटू पार्शल फ्रैक्शन पार्शल फ्रैक्शन now generally in this problem everybody will get confusion g of x contains three factors 5 x plus 2 2 x plus 1 5 is not a linear factor you leave it that means here first it had better to find out the partial fractions of 2 x plus 3 by x plus 2 into 2 x plus 1 after that get it to be multiplied by 1 by 5 that's all we get the partial fractions of this one so first of all let us consider this 2x plus 3 by x plus 2 into 2x plus 1 already in the first example itself only we have discussed as we have two linear factors for each linear factor there exist one partial fractions of the form a by x plus 2 and b by 2x plus 1 so let us write here a by x plus 2 plus b by 2x plus 1 these two values are to be determined so 2x plus 3 by x plus 2 into 2x plus 1 is equal to lcm x plus 2 into 2x plus 1 this this gets cancel a multiplied by 2x plus 1 plus b multiplied by x plus 2 now both denominators of same that's why numerators must be same so they are equated a into 2x plus 1 plus b into x plus 2 equals to 2x plus 3 now let us pose some questions in our mind what is the zero of x plus 2 zero of x plus 2 is minus 2 so let us substitute minus 2 so put x is equal to minus 2 so then we get a of minus 4 plus 1 plus b of minus 2 plus 2 this is minus 4 plus 3 this is minus 3a this is 0 you can leave it minus 1 a equals to 1 by 3 now a value have been determined let us find out b value to find out b value so let us substitute zero of 2x plus 1 what is the zero of 2x plus 1 zero of the 2x plus 1 is minus half so put x is equal to minus 1 by 2 so that means this become zero a of zero plus b of minus 1 by 2 plus 2 equals to here minus 1 plus 3 this is 0 this is 3b by 2 equal to 2 3b equals to 4 b equals to 4 by 3 now here a value we have to substitute and b value we have to substitute now let us substitute the values let us substitute two x plus three by x plus two into two x plus one 
equals to a means 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 times x plus 2 plus 4 by 3 times 2x plus 1. But this is not the answer. So, now we have to find out 2x plus 3 by 5 into x plus 2 into 2x plus 1. Therefore, that means each is multiplied by each one with 1 by 5. So, let us multiply 1 by 5 into this one 5 into 3 15 1 by 15 x plus 2 plus 4 by 15 into 2 x plus 1. Problem number 3. Resolve thirteen x plus forty three two x square plus seventeen x plus thirty into partial fractions. Partial fractions. Here g of x is a quadratic expression, quadratic polynomial. So, now is, is this a irreducible or reducible factor? We have to verify. So, definitely as we are asked to find out the partial fractions. So, it may be written as the product of two linear factors. First, let us find out the linear factors first of all. So, now in this case factorization 2 x square plus 17 x plus 30. See 13 into 2 is 60, product is 60, sum is 17. What are such numbers? 60 means 12 5 ja 60. 12 plus 5 is 17. So, this can be written as 12 x plus 5 x plus 30. Now, 2 x common we get x plus 6. 5 common x plus 6. Again take x plus 6 common x plus 6 into 2 x plus 5. That is why this fraction can be written as like this 13 x plus 43 by x plus 6 into 2 x plus 5. It is also per hour fraction. Now, this from for this we can find out the partial fractions. These two are what kind of actually factors they are linear factors. So, they are irreducible. So, for each one there exists actually one partial fractions of the form like this a by x plus 6 plus b by 2 x plus 5. Now, both a and b values are to be evaluated. So, let us evaluate. 13 x plus 43 by x plus 6 into 2 x plus 5 equals to LCM is x plus 6 into 2 x plus 5. Now, A multiplied by 2 x plus 5 plus b multiplied by x plus 6. These two gets cancelled. We have a times 2 x plus 5 plus b times x plus 6 equals to 13 x plus 43. But you have you may have one doubt in your mind. So, what is that doubt means? Why should we take the zeros of the linear factors? Can we do directly? So, let us try one more method. So, now 
here this is 2a x we can write this is 5a plus b x plus 6 b equals to 13 x plus 43. Now, from these we can take x common. So, this can be written 2 a plus b of x this is 5 a plus 6 b equals to 13 x plus 43. If these two polynomials are equated means x coefficient must be equal to x coefficient and this constant must be equal to constant. That means, comparing x coefficients and constants on both sides are equating. Equating x coefficients and constants on both sides, both sides. That means, this 2 a plus b equal to 13 whereas, this is equal to 43. So, now we get two equations 2 a plus b equals to 13 say equation 1 5 a plus 6 b equals to 43 say 2 solving 1 and 2 solving 1 and 2 5 a plus 6 b equals to 43 2 a plus b equals to 13 this multiply with 1 multiply with 6 5 a plus 6 b equal to 43 12 a plus 6 b equal to 78, 13 6 just 78. Now, subtract minus, minus and minus, these two cancel minus 7 a equals to 5, 8 minus 3 5 and next 35 that is minus a equals to 5. So, now, if we put a is equal to 5 in either of the equation, we get a value from 1. Put a is equal to 5, 10 plus b is equal to 13, b equals to 13 minus 10 which equal to 3. So, b equal to 3, these two values replace here a and b. So, therefore, 13 x plus 43 by 2 x square plus 17 x plus 30 equal to 5 by x plus 6 plus 3 divided by 2 x plus 5. So, in this way we find out the partial fractions of given third problem.